Breaking news out of the district this afternoon. A woman was ordered not to be anywhere near the White House, and now 35-year-old Jessica Ford of Tennessee is charged with three federal crimes. A day after she rammed her van into a White House barricade while holding a gun. WUSA 9's Michael Quander live at the federal courthouse for us right now. And do we know why she did this, Michael? Yeah, well, Deborah, court documents are offering a clearer picture about what happened and why this may have all went down. Now, I want you all to take a look at this video of the scene from yesterday. Now, court documents are, the charging documents are saying that Jessica Ford drove up to the security barrier on East Street in Northwest. A Secret Service officer told Ford to stop, but police say she sped up, drove past the officer, and rammed her van into the barrier. Prosecutors say Ford backed up, slammed into that gate two more times, and began spinning her wheels until they started smoking. Officers say they took a gun from Ford and they later discovered it was actually a BB gun. According to court documents, Ford tried to get into the White House property twice before and was actually in violation of a stay away order. Now this story gets much more interesting. Earlier in court today, Ford kept on screaming, I want my kids back, I want my kids back. And coming up at 11, I'll tell you what that has to do with why she was going to the White House in the first place. Reporting live tonight at D.C. District Court, Michael Quander, WUSA 9. Thank you so much, Michael. We're going to have more details into Jessica Ford and that hearing tonight at 11.